There's an historical marker off a busy road that you may have never noticed before, and that's because it's covered with overgrown branches and weeds on a hillside in Homewood. It sits outside a rundown abandoned Victorian home that once housed the National Negro Opera Company. Royce Jones has the story of this Pittsburgh treasure and the challenge now to restore it to its former glory. The paneling is peeling. The columns are collapsing. This piece of black history is hanging on by a literal thread. Now voices from all over are joining chorus to preserve it. Along Apple Street in Homewood. Nobody knows about it. Overtaken by weeds, the condemned and crumbling National Negro Opera House is barely recognizable. Every time I see it, it breaks my heart because here's this piece of history, right? That's here in our great city of Pittsburgh that is wasting away. Home of the first black opera company, a place where greats gathered and world renowned voices once rattled the walls. Such as Lena Horne and Cab Callow. Away. Now named one of the 11 most endangered places in America by the National Trust for Historic Preservation. But organizers Chantel Brazil and Sydney Goldman are changing the tune, calling all singers from across the nation for the hashtag Opera House Challenge on social media, hoping to raise attention and renovation dollars. We would like them to post a video of them performing, tagging the National Opera House. The future vision? A reflection of the past for it to become a gathering place once again in Homewood where people like artists and creatives and influencers can come together again. The magic of music accompanied by hard work could raise the collapsing roof of one of Pittsburgh's fading black artifacts. If we don't care about it, who's going to care about it for Pittsburgh Today Live? I'm Royce Jones. It is so nice to see people coming together to save the Opera House. Absolutely. And what yeah. an effort. Well, that house was built in 1894. In 1941, Madame Mary Cardwell Dawson established the Opera Company there and broke the color barrier for opera in this country. And after the Opera Company left, the home housed stealers and pirate players, including the legendary Roberto Clemente. Yeah, what a history there, really. really. And, and it's always good to see Pittsburgh things featured in a national level. Right. And so Gary gets this opera news magazine every month, and he's flipping through it, and he says, oh my gosh, See, we'll take a look at this. Uh, there's a whole feature on this opera house in Pittsburgh that we did not know about. I never knew the history of this, uh, and it's right there in Homewood. Wow, and so, this. and there, we're about to see a shot where it's inside the Syria Mosque. Look at this, filled, filled. To, to watch a performance that was inside the Syria Mosque there. So it gives you some idea of j just what a legacy this place has. Really important. Yeah. And you can actually take a virtual tour of the Opera House and other notable places of African American architecture in Pittsburgh in the upcoming Doors Open Pittsburgh tour. Uh, the Black History Month tour is hosted by a notable architect, William Bates, tonight starting at 7.30. Tickets are just $5, and you can get more details at pittsburghtodaylive.com. Yeah, and it's also good to see the black history in Pittsburgh getting the recognition that right. it, it deserves. So a uh, wonderful program there.